What's good world? My name is Mablo Swanche. Um, original name is Brian, uh, that's my birth name, and Mablo is my stage name. Um, now I want to talk a little bit about who I am and where I'm going. Um, in the past few years, I can talk about Plasma as five years already now. I've been going through a transformation and I've been so much hungry and seeking knowledge about um, spirituality and I happen to get very much aligned with African spirituality and I have a church background so I sort of found a richness of how the two really like um, are connected but in illusion we don't really see it so I think with also a history background from the school uh, you know in back in the, in the college high school I also did history for two years so trying to join the two I sort of found my spiritual realm and I think with this I didn't I'm not being able to do it alone but I'm being able to do it with the lots of people around the world that share information that share their experiences and who they are and I want to thank God for the people who are um, originally African and uh, who are the other people from other races that are actually educated enough to study this and be able to give us the knowledge of who we are and um, where we're coming from because that is not in any way part of the mainstream or it's not information that is easily accessible to know about. So now the reason why I recorded this video is one of my um, it's I, I had to do this. I still haven't even spoken to the person who I'm doing this for, but this dedication of this video is to um, a gentleman by the name, uh, you know, it's a brother, I would really like call it, and in the same time, I would like to think a father at the same time. He's more like a father figure to me from how I see him. I've never met him before, but I've just like seen him online and I feel so much connected with the information that he shares. Uh, this is dedicated to Philip Shock. So it's, his name is, original name is Philip Matthews. Um, he runs a show on uh, YouTube. You can f check in the, in the comments right now. You found a link to his, um, to his channel very rich information that i learned from his channel and all the gatherings that he does with um, very very knowledgeable um, very rich information that you would get from um, african people who are around the globe that has so much to tell about who we are and they have experience of actually being able to work within this industry and they, are, they have been able to to construct um, what I would think is a bubble of uh, mankind knowledge of who we are and mostly in this case I'm directing this to people of color and as people of color, as Africans, we somehow don't get the can part we always get the african but we don't understand the can but so in my own terms i would like to say african so i can so this is the kind of spirit i've built up all the time i've been uh, educating myself from these brothers and um the reason why i do this now is that within the the season of these five years i've been able to write a certain song called build the world and when i wrote this song uh, I thought about it in a day ago and the other day I watched him talking on the channel and I felt that this song connects so much to what this is. So it's a dedication to the to to the black man, to the man of color, a dedication to the kings, a dedication to the queens that we need to we need to restore. We need to build the world again. So I think that's that is that that's that is what was sitting in my heart. 
in my spirit I I think that is what I was telling in the song and I think when I was actually scripting the art and when I wrote the song and recorded it I may have not understood that part but I think God was using me to tell a story and I thought that this connects so much to all this knowledge that I've been getting from Philip so Philip Matthews I want to thank you so much for your love and I want to just say that we we thank you for being the instrument to unfold um, this education and I pray that God may give you more and more wisdom around it and in this time we are we are praying that and in fact I should say we claim that your days on this earth be multiplied and we pray that the success of your purpose on this earth while you do this may it reach the right people may it reach everyone may the people have a choice so in other words I think we're gonna be rewriting the Bible we will be writing the gospel of life in our own terms so we um, in extent claim an abundance of the African culture globally because as far as I've been looking at this information and everything I've gathered around it seems everything evolves in Africa so Africa African we can so um, in this time I would like to say that as Africans because we can we would like to manifest we would like to manifest the restoration of the people of color, the restoration of their love, their kindness, their opulence. And when I say opulence is that I, I haven't seen any other culture that has contributed to the global world more than the African culture. So if we created this art and it's so much rich, so I know one thing that we are forever opulent. We're not even luxury. We are more than that. We are priceless. So at the same time, I want us to be able to treasure this and may the world understand our kindness. And with all my heart in this moment, I would like God to help you, Mr. Philip, Mr. Matthews, uh, Philip Matthews, that God may help you and help me at the same time and everybody that is watching this and everyone that is listening and everyone that sees this as food for thought, um, that you may spread this wisdom. So we do not want to have the people of color that we're good in talking we've had we've had all the people that are well known as activists or whoever we may want to call them i would like to call them jesus i would like to call them apostles the likes of Bob Marley, martin luther king mandela you know these people they have left a mark on the globe and that is not the only thing that we want we want the restoration. We want our own livelihood to be reconciled and get back what we deserve. And in fact, put back life to normal, to a normal that we are these people and this is who we are. And forever we understand our richness. So, Philip Matthews, may God bless you and your wisdom will be blessed by God himself abundantly and I'm praying for your health I'm praying for your inner spiritual and um, inner spirituality actually this may be what I wanted to say there and um, I pray that God may open up all these doors for you 
that you may not just have the millions or the billions people billions of people to know about you but for the people to carry the information for the memories of our own lives to be reset again and at the same time i think we need to reconnect with who we are who we were before any of this trauma happened and once we have that knowledge and we can be able to claim to reclaim who we are and forever stand on it with the african spirituality african laws the laws of nature and everything that surrounds within the african you know the african neighborhood itself and i've seen that even though our own african american brothers were taken away from this place centuries back but there is something about it that you still can connect i feel you like you are here today i feel like i know you so this is what we pray for god bless you and right now i'm going to perform a song called build the world and this is a dedication to your show so philip matthews uh philip shock or oh, everyone watching this one is called build the world and i hope you all enjoy Right, let's get to it. A dedication to Philip Matthews right here. It's called Build the Wall, babe. I love you.
could say much more, but a little bit of what I've tried in this, I think we have a story to tell. So I will perform more and more, and this will become an anthem for our restoration as the people of Ghana. Be the audio. I love you so much. Bye.